Hi friends, Kendra here with Kendra All For Him, and this is your weekly devotion. This week we're in John 14, 27, and this is the message translation. And it says, I'm telling you these things while I'm still living with you. The friend, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send at my request, will make everything plain to you. He will remind you of all the things I have told you. I'm leaving you well and whole. That's my parting gift, the gift of peace. I don't leave you the way you were used to be, feeling down, abandoned, uh, berated. So don't be upset and don't be distraught. I love this as Jesus is um, in his final days of being here on the earth. He's making a promise to us, right? He's making a promise that he's about to leave, but he's going to send something greater. And in sending something greater, which would be the Holy Spirit, we, we read about them, the disciples going up into the upper room and waiting for whatever Jesus said was coming. They were waiting. And it says, and a suddenly like a rushing wind, a sound of a rushing wind came in and the Holy Spirit came. When the Holy Spirit came, it came in like a dove and it landed on us. And we now have the Holy Spirit that we get to co-labor and live life with, right? Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Trinity, three in one. And I love this because it, uh, Jesus is reminding us. He says that he will remind you, the Holy Spirit will remind you of the things I have told you. It means that we can hear the voice of God. We can lean into the Holy Spirit. Do you know, you can dialogue um, 24-7, 365 with the Lord. I love that about our God. He's so relational. He's not some God sitting on a hill judging you. He is relational. He wants to be closer than a friend, and he is closer than a friend. He should be and can be your best friend. He is to me. I I I I need Jesus in my life every day because he is my wise counsel. He is the one that I lean to and listen to for business strategies in a time of trial and trouble. He is my helper. He is my Jehovah Rapha. He is my provider. He is everything to me. But I love this that he says he's, that he's leaving us well and whole, that all things are in order and that he has left us with peace. You know, he's the Prince of Peace. When we're in a time of chaos and distress, we can call Prince of Peace, come consume the atmosphere and you can feel a tangible change in the presence as you meditate on the Prince of Peace rather than allowing the enemy to bring chaos into your life. I love that he says, don't be upset, don't be distraught, that you are no longer will feel abandoned. You no longer will feel berated. You are no longer left because the Holy Spirit, when you invite Jesus into your life, the Holy Spirit comes and lives in us. And you guys, we are fully adopted, fully grafted in. And I want you to hear this today in this scripture that God promises you. He says, I will bring wisdom. He is knowledge. He is peace. He is comforter. And he will bring wholeness to yourself and to you. So I want to bless you in this week as you run this journey. Remember to keep your eyes fixated on the Lord. You can learn, lean to him, ask him questions, you know, bring your raw self. <laughs> he loves that. He knows you. He knows the beginning from the end. He knows every hair on your head. And there's nothing you can dialogue with him that will surprise him because it actually says he knows the thoughts before you even think them. So I want to bless you in your week. Uh, that you would walk in the fullness knowing you are never alone. You've been fully grafted into this family, the kingdom of God, as you ask Jesus into your heart. God bless you. Run this race strong today knowing you're not alone.